Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Let's Talk. Today we're going to talk The Punisher. So, I just finished this series, and I got really, really pissed off that only on the last episode, in the last probably 15 to 20 minutes, did it actually become the fucking Punisher. Like, I, ah, there was some parts where I'm just kind of cringing, like, Jesus, it's ah! But, so my whole thing is this, okay, my whole thing is this, if you were playing someone like the Punisher, you need to keep your emotions in check, like you did at the very beginning, people are sitting there throwing shit at you and you're just, just heaving yourself with this sledgehammer at a brick wall, day and night, washing bloody calluses off your hands. After the guys are still on the site, going back home, getting back there before they're there in the morning, and then they're all pissed off, and you're just not paying any attention to them. That's the Punisher, man. Not as no, not you're supposed to be stoic when your family died. Frank Castle died with them. You became the Punisher. Everyone calls you Frank and you listen to it because that's the name you've heard your entire fucking life. But you take on this role of, this is what I'm doing. Get fucked. You needed to be a lot more cold and not so emotional. It just seemed like it, he just, John Bernthal just kept trying over and over and over and over and over again to just emphasize what he's feeling instead of just having that tense where you see that they're like jaw muscles when they're, when they're pissed and you see all in the jaw like have that be your anger or your emotion to where you're not it's not on your face as much as it is or it's not in your words and <laughs> like no you're not supposed to be laughing and stuff if anything, it's supposed to come off as just being odd. Like There's a certain persona that Frank Castle has to have in order for you to actually pull off the Punisher. And you did it in the very first episode when they're all calling you retard or deaf or whatever. And no one gives a shit. And then at the very end, when you're just cold and calculated, just this is what the fuck's going on. And the amount of punishment that you kept divvying out. But after that, like, except just those little confined parts, that entire 13th uh, episode season, that's the only time you actually acted like the Punisher instead of John Bernthal playing a character. I need a, I need a, uh, I'm, uh, we're going to have to go ahead and, uh, overact the hell out of this part because, uh, <laughs> you know, that's just that's what you got to do. It. <laughs> the one thing that I liked about him from start to finish that I really, really, truly enjoyed, I really, truly enjoyed, is I felt he had the depth of voice that Frank would have. He would have this just, this just really dark and low town voice that just has this resonation of just, I'll, I'll, I'll kill you. I don't think you quite understand, but, uh, I'm, I'm going to take you out. I think you acting emotionless would have come across better as being a object of fear, which is what the Punisher is supposed to be. Instead of uh, having all these serious, just let's just emphasize the shit out of this to the point to where it's absurd. Like, come on, man. I didn't have a whole lot of faith going into this. And I felt it spent entirely too much time trying to establish everyone around him. Kind of like what they did with Daredevil. Daredevil was in there some. Matt Murdock was in there some. But let's establish everyone else so that you have all this stuff where, look, we're creating a universe. You already did that shit when he was in Daredevil in the second fucking season. Knock all that bullshit off. If microchip is not going to be involved in anything else going forward. If that was his way out, you spent too much fucking time doing it because I was bored. 
I'm just sitting here playing seven days that I just dicking around doing nothing else while this is going on another screen. I was bored. I have to say that overall, like on that, on that one to 10 scale, I'd have to give this about a four in all honesty. The story drug on. There were parts that didn't need to happen. There was tons of bullshit and just so much just over-editing, over-acting, over-analyzing, over-reacting. I just... It was too much. It was way too just forcing it into your face like the baby group bullshit in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. It's way too much. Less is more, and that would have done this series a beautiful amount. You know, like, Daredevil is known for having sort of a dichotomous life, where he's Matt Murdock, the lawyer who's trying to help people out, and then he goes out and beats the shit out of people at night. They had a beautiful way of, of just balancing both ends of that spectrum for him. And there wasn't a whole lot of time that he was in there fighting. But, my God, it's the Punisher, not let's drag on and try and tell you a 13 episode story of microchip, which is what his name should have been. But like, there's too much time. It's the Punisher, not Punisher and Friends. This isn't fucking Saturday morning cartoon happy hour. Come on with the bullshit. <sighs> what do you guys think? Did you enjoy it? Did you rate it higher than I did? I'm curious to know your actual opinions on it. Slam me on it if you enjoyed it. I don't care, but it's like basically the Iron Fist is known for being the Iron Fist. And we saw him, what, fist up about four or five times throughout the whole damn time. He just kept talking about, I am the Iron Fist. I'm Danny Rand. I'm the Iron Fist. Then fucking whoop some ass. The one time you had a chance to whoop some ass, you got the shit kicked out of you. You fucking suck too. I like the Iron Fist, and they did a shit job on that one too. I didn't even. I tried watching Jessica Jones. I got partway through the first episode. What the fuck is going on? I don't know shit about this character. Help me get involved with this. I think I got about ten to twelve minutes into it and went, I'm fucking done. This is stupid, and I bowed out. I didn't even bother with Luke Cage because if I can't understand Jessica Jones, because I know Jessica Jones and Luke Cage are married, spoiler alert, in the comics, so they're going to eventually get together. And if her shit's boring, his can't be much better. Ugh. All right. That's all I got. Like I said, let me know what you guys think. I seriously want to know. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.